Hi Capricorn, it's CJ and I am going to do your new moon reading for Leo, which is going to be on August 8th. So let's just get into it. Let's see what kind of energies, possibilities may be awaiting you with this beautiful, bright new moon coming in. I think it's going to be a really positive one for all of the astrological signs thus far. Leo is ruled by the moon, or sorry, by the sun. Thinking to myself, I'm a Cancer rising, so got that confused. Forgive me. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I just have this really good, this good energy coming to me when I've meditated on this new moon. It just feels full of life and it feels full of confidence and a lot of us are going to be finding our footing again and I don't know, it just feels really exciting. So let's see what possibly could be coming your way. Let's begin. Thank you, angels and guides, loved ones, ancestors, and the divine. Please, if you can guide me clearly, what is around Capricorn for this new moon in Leo? See what is there. What energy? And I'm using the Moonology deck just to get the vibe to start with, and then we'll clarify with the fountain deck afterward. Please show me clearly. Please offer me guidance in this reading for our gorgeous Capricorns. Ooh, okay. Let's just see anything else. Okay, we'll start with this one first. Ooh, balance spirituality and practical. Practi I can't speak today, Capricorn. I don't know what's going on. You swear it's like Mercury regret. I see, I can't even say that. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's start over. Balance spirituality and practic. I can't say it. I can't say it today. Practicality. There we go. Full moon in Pisces. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. Beautiful card. All right, let's see what else. Gosh, tongue tied much. All right, anything else? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And we'll see what this one is. Ooh, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Uh, can you, maybe I'll pull that back a little. There we go. Gorgeous, okay. What else? What else for our Capricorns? Ooh, okay, this one wanted to come out. The answers you need are coming. It's full moon in Gemini. So, so far, Capricorn, we've gotten three full moons here. So, right away, I feel like something is actually closing out. Something is, something is closing out for sure. Maybe right now, maybe around the time of the new moon, which is really pretty powerful, actually. Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else? And I'll shuffle two more times. I feel like that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So... We've got two water signs, Scorpio and Pisces here, and then we have Gemini. The full moon in Pisces is asking you to really start to balance what you believe in, what you stand for, what your values are, what your morals are, and how do you apply that in your day-to-day -day life? Pisces in the normal traditional tarot is represented by the moon. So, and the moon is our intuition as well as things that may be hidden in our subconscious or that you're not able to see in day-to-day -day life. So, 
perhaps there's something that you've been struggling with, <coughs> excuse me, um, between what you know is right and what is happening. Because it fe I feel like there's this, these two kind of different little bit of energies that are um, almost competing against each other. So that's an interesting energy I'm, I'm picking up. It's time to release negativity. So the full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is the death card. Um, that represents that transformation from one state to another. So if there is something in your life that you're having a hard time um, really kind of being able to say, this is what I stand for, this is my values, this is what I won't tolerate, but you're having a hard time exercising that. It's now time for you to actually really try and release what doesn't serve you anymore, whether that's people, attitudes, etc., etc. And I also feel like this, I just need to say that you have to, there's something about communication here. And of course, because we have the full moon in Gemini, Gemini is swords, that is our thoughts, that is the way that we communicate. Um, Gemini is the lovers. So, maybe you're in a relationship with a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, could be Cancer as well. Oh, we'll see as we start to pull out some more clarifiers. But the answers you need are coming. Feels to me as if, if this is about a love relationship, I feel like you guys are going to get back on the same page if there's been a little bit of mm, not balanced, I guess. Because there's something here that is keeping you unbalanced. You know, it doesn't have to be huge, but there's something that's keeping you unbalanced here and it does need to be let go of. Um, let, so let's pull some clarifiers. Three full moons. One being with the Scorpio and the Death card. It's very much indicating that something needs to change. Something needs to transform. Okay, so let's see. What else? Thank you so much. Could you please guide me in this reading for Capricorn? My deck just went crazy. That's very interesting. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what happened here. Eight of Swords. I it just felt like I needed to take this, but it's in the reverse which is positive. Upright, the Eight of Swords, is having some blinders on and feeling stuck, feeling like you can't get out of your own head, um, but you can. Showing up in the reverse shows me that you are going to get out of what makes you stuck in your mind. Thoughts, patterns, other people's attitudes, etc., etc. <clears throat> so that just feels like it's confirming that it is time to release negativity, and I do feel that you probably are going to be working on this, if not right now, but close to the new moon. Um, this is the first week, early part of August, that I'm doing this reading. But this coming out is definitely saying that you are unbinding yourself. So that is a very positive energy to have. Thank you so much, angels and guides. And continue to show me more for Capricorn. I feel like you're rising up. Like rising up and you're just, yeah, I think these two. Thank you. Wow. God, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside. So, out came 
this was in reverse. It's the Ten of Wands. You're actually letting go of all your burdens. You're literally releasing them. Walking away from them. You're cutting it out. You're finding your balance. And when you do, it's the Queen of Coins. Back to being self-assured. Back to being full of confidence. Back to having your material wealth and abundance. Back to feeling in control, grounded, very gorgeous. Cappy, the fact that these two cards came out in reverse is a great indication that you are moving out of whatever was negative and whatever made you feel unbalanced. So this is really cool because this new moon in Leo Leo is all about confidence. Uh, you know, Leo, ruled by the sun, as I said, um, so powerhouse. You know, they're, they're the ones that even if they have any kind of insecurity, at least the Leos that I know, and um, I do know quite a few, you would never guess that they're feeling insecure. You would never guess if they have a moment of self-doubt. They don't let that come out. They don't even really... I just don't think that they allow that kind of to enter their mind very much. They're very self-confident, very um, just strong-minded in who they are the majority of the time. So for you to be releasing whatever has been burdening, burdening you and perhaps keeping you in the dark, remember we talked about the full moon in Pisces and being ruled by the moon and that's what's things that are hidden. Um, what a beautiful time to start this transition and just finding your strength and your growth and your, 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 your calmness within yourself again. It's so awesome. I, I mean, I'm going to have to look up in a dictionary a whole bunch of other really great words to use because I know that I use the same ones over and over and I can't help it. It's just what comes out. But it's looking really, really great. So as you get closer to this new moon, you start to really think about how you're going to move forward. Think about the things you want to release. Think about the things, situations, etc. that have kept you feeling a little bit stuck. And free yourself from that because you have this possibility of just being so confident and powerful within yourself and self-assured in knowing these decisions that you're making are the right decision decisions for you and then I believe that the balance is going to be coming right back into your world again so let's see if they have anything else for you Cap gorgeous Capricorns I almost feel like this deck is speaking the language of very excited almost can't contain itself. Okay, that one. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yep, this is it. You're definitely going to be speaking a lot of truth. King of, or sorry, Knight of Swords. It's air. Um, I feel like you're really going to, you're going to be speaking and standing in your truth now. You're ready and you're going to be moving quite quickly or this communication that you I feel that you're going to be giving is going to happen quite quickly and it's it's in for the positive wow just think you're standing your ground now I just feel like you're literally about to start standing your ground which is so freeing. It's such a beautiful energy of freedom. And having the Six of Wands underneath. Uh, yeah, my camera's really not picking this up very good today. Sorry. Um, I don't, I can't, I can't get it to focus very much. But there's, an, there's a, a person and they're just lying back on this solid, beautiful, reddish colored block surrounded by light yellow glows and they are acknowledging with them in themselves 
the recognition of I did it. I finally did it and it's a time to take a moment and celebrate your success of standing up for yourself and how far you've come. So this just looks like a really exciting new moon opportunity. So you focus on, you know, focus on what it is that you're releasing and then focus on what you want to have it replaced with because that is how our energies work. If we have too much of one thing, there's not enough for, for another. If we hold on to too much that is negative, there isn't, it's very hard for positive to come in. You know, um, if you have a lot of positivity in your life, it's much more difficult for the negative to weigh you down or take you down. Let's feel this major change coming in for you, Capricorn. Major change. Wow. So cool. Okay, so let's wrap this reading up. A lot of growth coming. A lot of growth. Obviously, everyone has free will, etc. But it just feels like there's just such powerful growth and movement and um, just that gorgeous feeling when you feel so balanced in yourself and you feel so um, proud of yourself for standing up for what you believe in. Remember the first card, balanced spirituality and practicality, right? And I tried to pronounce it as clear as I could because I screwed it up royally at the very beginning. So, okay, so let's see. Can you give me one card from Pearls of Wisdom for our Capricorns to close this reading off? I love that the Eight of Swords and the Ten of wands came out in reverse because that is just showing how much you're you're open to transitioning now and if this is regarding oh okay grab those two excuse me one second two just flew out quite the energy all right we got balance and wisdom balance again balance balance okay balance Beautiful bear. Bears are bears are so gorgeous. They're so powerful in their movement, in in how they how they defend the, their young, how they defend themselves. So maybe that has something to do with this reading as well. But it says balance activities and rest will increase your strength. Your body will indicate changes that are required. Your affirmation is, I am energized. I feel like you're going to be full of energy, Capricorn, when you speak your truth to this love interest, to whoever or whatever this energy of the negative that doesn't make you feel so good once that's released. And then we have wisdom. Uh, this is so interesting. I do have something to say about this here. Wisdom. Do you define yourself by others' expectations? Release fears and past beliefs, and life will take care of itself and flow. Your affirmation is, I'm trusting my inner wisdom. You know, it's interesting, Capricorn, because if I remember correctly, the last few readings for you, there has been someone or something that has just, the energy has been kind of a downer, um, a drain. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the message was about you having to really stand up for yourself and once you did that would change things but it would free you in fact i think i even used the word freedom in one of your your readings um anyways that you would have freedom but also the other person would then have that opportunity to learn what they need to learn i'm wondering if you have been doing a lot of giving and a lot of like really trying to be really understanding to whoever or whatever this is, that 
you kind of allowed others' expectations to define your own um, belief in yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, I hope I'm being clear. You know, you might want to be able to do this and do that and do all this, but you stop yourself because you know that that will cause some kind of rift or cause some kind of um, discomfort or something with someone else, for example. So you don't. So you swallow it and you do what they want to do instead. Yeah, well, if that is, if that resonates with you, it's just so important that you make this stand because until you do, I feel you're just going to stay in that same place. And you don't want to do that. You want to be able to grow. You want to be able to be free. You want to be able to be who you want to be and do what you want to do. And, you know, damn what other people think to some degree, right? As long as it's not hurting anyone. Um, you have every right to make yourself happy and go after what it is you want. So if, you, if we live our life by what others expect of us all the time, we're not living our own life. We are not free then. We are bound. We are then upright. We are the Ten of Wands and we are the Eight of Swords. Simply put. So because this just feels like this, um, this energy just kind of keeps lingering through these readings for you, um, Capricorn, you, 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 there's so much beautiful things awaiting you when you cut the ties of this. It doesn't mean cut anyone or anything out. It just means just stand up and be authentically your honest truth. Show your honest truth. And those that love you will side with you and go with you and support you. And those that don't, well, they don't need to be around. You don't need that energy. You don't owe them anything. So I hope this reading has helped in some ways. The potential of being the queen of coins is so, so there. So if that's what you want, uh, just start, start working on that before the new moon if possible because the new moon is the time when the slates can be cleaned and you can restart again. Okay Capricorn, I wish you all the very best. Take care.